Hi guys and welcome to my latest uh, sale drained up. Um, trying to get videos out a lot more often than I would before. Um, so it's Friday and I'm going to try and keep them to a Friday to be fair. Um, got a few, I thought I'd mix it up today. Uh, we have got some, I think we've got about 12 eBay sales that I picked out and 10 from Amazon as well, which would be a mixture of... Uh, uh, merchant for field sales and Amazon FBA sales as well so without further ado let's carry on uh, we're going to start off with a, a Mitchell and their snapback cap a Los Angeles Lakers uh, I did to sell this hat before guy said it didn't really suit him it was an easy cup of tea uh, he sent it back I accepted the return he paid the postage to come back because the item wasn't faulty uh, Relisted it and it sold again pretty quickly to be honest at uh, 19.99 this was one of the items that I put on my 1% promotion as well um, I think I paid about a pound for the um, cap itself so that's that one let's move on swiftly next one is a rapid staple gun for upholstery jobs paid 20 pence um, it's kind of as new um box with some staples which i put in a condition notes um yeah had it on for around about a month and a half um i was even contemplating think keeping it in the end i thought i'd probably use it for a few uh a few uh jobs etc but it sold so yeah we kind of um took that that sold for 20 pound 49 that was on the 25th as well one five star product rating um, I noticed uh, just quickly on the product ratings, I know um, Zaheer had gone on about his remote controller um, and I know how frustrating that must have been but at the same time it seemed to sell relatively quickly Z so uh, if you are watching this it just goes to show you are those product ratings really that making that much of a difference? I know it's going to probably help, but your one still sold uh, relatively um, quickly. Moving on anyway, um, another part of a phone bundle. I went on about them in my last video. I kind of jumped on these based on Nick Hills putting this out on a video many moons ago. Um, again, I would have paid about two, four pound for a bundle. And this is another... Um, another uh, handset that sold uh, for 11.48 plus 3.49 postage let's move swiftly on to the next one okay so i just wanted to quickly chat about this this did sell it was a vintage a set of five maple leaf range pops uh, i'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the company i'd probably only get it wrong and do it an injustice um Individually on their own, it wouldn't have been that bad to, to pack. But as you notice, I did set the postage quite high. I did still do the guy a bit of a discount. I dropped it down and uh, I'd give him another £2 discount. I'd done it for £6.99. But for how much I was gonna, it was going to take to pack these items up. Anyway, the guy messaged me quite late at night. He was very rude, very off his, started swearing, etc, etc. Um, so... And so I did cancel the order, but I never cancelled it as just because I cancelled it in a sense that it would go against my seller metrics. I did put in there because the guy was humming an iron about it. I've gone, all right, then I'll cancel the order. And I cancelled it. And no sooner did I cancel it, he's gone, well, no, I don't want you to cancel it. But yeah, I'd kind of bit the bullet on it. It never went against me. It's, it, uh, I think eBay said because he hadn't paid for the item, um, it just went at, went down as a uh, customer cancelled order. So just wanted to share that one with you, which I still have. Okay, so I did, I bought, whoops, I bought a lot of the uh, dragons. I paid £50 for the bundle in total. There was three massive dragons. And I also, bear with me, I bought loads of these tiny little, little dragons, which are 
pocket dragons, I think they're called. Uh, real Musgrave handmade. I've not listed any of them yet. Um, but yeah, I've got the first sale. I took an offer on this for thirty pound. That went out the uh, the other the other day. So good to see. Uh, uh, like we're kind of halfway on getting my uh, money back. There's still two big ones, loads of medium sized ones, and about forty or fifty the tiny ones as well. Uh, next we have a set of Globe 2017 brand Toffee um, trainers. Uh, these are new with box. These were part of a bundle that I bought, a very cheap for bundle. I think I paid about for five ten pound. I've got about five six sets of uh, trainers in them. Uh, they they went. I think they went Jersey or Guernsey, but uh, yeah, they sold for forty nine ninety nine, so pretty much for full profit on them. Swiftly on to the next one. This was quite an interesting one. As soon as I see this, I thought, I'm not sure if it was Nick Hills again that uh, listed something to do with Microsoft. And I see the mouse, and I thought, yeah, it's got to be a good one. Paid two pound for it. Was definitely looking at putting it on to Amazon FBA. When I looked on there, they was going for such cheap money. Now it's not very often that I decide I'm going to flip sync on eBay rather than Amazon. Amazon would always be my preference. Amazon has always been over the last couple of years. I spend and I sell, and and my time is kind of seventy five, eighty five percent Amazon. And the rest, the Flandering side has always been on eBay. But on this one, I didn't. I put it on eBay. It sold relatively quickly. I think this one went to Italy. And it sold at $34.99 plus $3.49 postage. So keep a look out for them. That sold really, really well. And it's, what, 20 years old as well. Moving on. Um, second of my Sony Walkmans. Um, this one sold again. This one went abroad. This sold. I paid five pound for two. I'd already got my money back on the other one. I think the other one sold for twenty five or twenty seven. Said in the previous video, this one works again. Works brilliant. This sold for thirty five ninety nine plus three forty nine shipping. Uh, another item from my auction job lot. Uh, this is a Tempo Telephone Engineers uh, Oscillator 87J. Uh, made by Tempo, or also made by Greenlee as well. I make them for uh, the cable industry, be it Sky, be it T, be BT, uh, Open Reach. Uh, the talk talk engineers, uh, private contractors, Virgin Media engineers, etc. Uh, that sold for this auction doesn't own me name now. Um, the job lot, uh, so pure profit twenty four ninety nine less your postage and quite obviously my tax and my eBay fees, but twenty four ninety nine plus three forty nine postage. Second, I've still had got a few little. Um, a couple of keyboards I have. I bought two wireless ones um, uh, for 13 14 This is the second one that's sold for exactly the same price. So kind of £76, £77 pound on two keyboards. Aimed a little bit higher. Put it on the promotion. Um, four and a half stars on a project, project rating. Product rating, even get the words out. Um, thirty three ninety nine plus three forty nine pounds. So I still have uh, the long numeric keyboard for sale and an Apple mouse, which is currently listed. On to the next one, which is Elvis Presley vinyl LP for old time's sake. Uh, U.S. import. Um, cover not in the best condition in the world, um, but still come back with a very good price on that these all i spoke the other day i won't bore you again but mine are all sent out in proper hard cardboard record mailers and a record inlay cardboard inlay inside which are a few millimeters thick um but yeah that one sold um there's a few more pictures of the record itself yeah, so happy with that sale at nineteen ninety nine. Let's move on swiftly. 
Um, this was a sale for, from today. Uh, quite happy to get a, a nice early uh, sale. Uh, condition of this one is not uh, bad at all. Um, this sold for $54.99 plus $3.49 shipping. That went to a person with zero feedback. So fingers crossed that don't, we don't get any issues with that one. But again, some more pure profit on that one. Um, it's just the oscillator and the amplifier one to 109J. Um, no to test leads, no crocodile clips, etc. So that's the eBay sales. And now we're going to shift over and we're going to go through... A few sales over the last month at that three weeks. First was saying I flipped from eBay to Amazon. So I did say speak about that a little few minutes ago that I try to concentrate more on that. And 90% of the, 95 of the time it does better. Stuff does better. This was a, a little Garfield um, plush. Uh, Darkin, Dakin. Uh, cat from 1981 still with the original tag on that sold for $24.99 that was with my shipping that that um, that was a merchant fulfilled item next this was a European sale um, again which I posted uh, paid about 50p for this uh, this 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 cassette which was a TDK EHG 30 minute tape that sold for 44 euros and 59. So, just quickly, yeah, so a good sale on that one. Moving along, airfix cars. I bought two for four pound. One was a VW Beetle, which I didn't think had any real value to go on to Amazon. Uh, so that's on. That's still got to be listed on eBay. Part of my massive pile of shame. I think people were going on about piles of shame the other day. Oh, I have units and units of not as bad as uh, t t um, t the Tom, uh, the English pickup. But um, yeah, I have massive amounts. Um, but that's sold for fourteen pound thirty seven. Happy with that sale. Um, this was a sale from, I think, from yesterday, actually. Paid £4 for it. It was in the box. Very good condition. A Watson personal energy monitor, which I believe you've got to connect up to your your own um, electricity supply, um, etc. I don't know it 100%, but I kind of get that impression of what, what you do, and then you put this at some point in your... Um, in your room and it glows different colours to let you know how your energy is doing. Um, I paid three four pounds, sold for sixty four ninety nine. So again, a great flip on eBay. They weren't fetching hardly anything at all. Uh, this was a cheap puzzle that cost me a pound. This sold yesterday as well. Another merchant for Phil sale. Victoria Falls in Barbway, thousand piece, um, still sealed. One of those. Jigsaws, cheap looking jigsaws that you would find in your any local uh, charity shop. That sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. There we've got four left. Next was a uh, very good condition. Again, I could have flipped it on eBay. Didn't think you'll see. You'll notice there it was on eBay with my SKU code of EBY being eBay and F seven, which being my location code um because i was one of the world's worst starting out don't get it as much now where i just put stuff in boxes didn't bother to put any kind of reference and ugh, it was an absolute nightmare finding everything but as i as i progress with my journey um yeah we kind of uh, try to learn from things but that would have been a four or five pound pickup and it sold for 59 pound 87. slimming well books I've been selling Slimming World books on Amazon for about two years. I know more and more people are kind of doing them now. Um, but I always do very, very well. Uh, I pick them up from various places, i.e. charity shops. Occasionally you would pick them up. Amazon, uh, the Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I don't really pick them up. Unless I see a cheap bundle going on eBay. Spock as well. Half people, if they will deliver... Majority of people um, will 
pay 20 30 pound for a bundle and maybe get 150 160 pound back so that was family feast on a budget sold for 11.99 uh I sent the Doctor Who um, jigsaw up. It was, wasn't up for long, as you see. It says August the twelfth um, was when I kind of um, created the skew. I think it went up more towards the end of August. But um, yeah, new series of Doctor Who out very very soon. Um, bring back Rose Tyler. Okay, that's me. Um, <laughs> that's all for nineteen ninety nine. And my last. A last but one sale. These I paid a pound each. Metal Gear Rising Revenge steel bookcase only and DLC. Uh, these that sold. I paid a pound for them. I bought about three or four. They was all still new and sealed in the cellophane. That's the first one that sold. Still got a few more. Two or three for sale. That sold at twenty pound. And the last one didn't kind of get my link out properly. But this was a Falcon Salisbury Cathedral Jigsaw, which I believe um, there's one on Prime at the moment at thirty four ninety nine. Mine sold on Prime for around about thirty three ninety nine. Um, yeah, Jigsaw is one of them things that you 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 can kind of see with the Keeper chart there. Um, of what they kind of have to have, what they what they have been um like uh, for fetching so yeah definitely keep an eye out on the older for falcon jigsaws they do sell for very good um for very good uh my money to be um to be absolutely fair so yeah thank you for looking the channel has been going for a little bit of time it's just that i kind of lost my way with it I have been asking on various um, live chats, etc., for people to come and subscribe to my channel because it's only going to make me think it's worthwhile to doing. Um, I have heard people say in the past, and I do agree 110%, the likes of uh, a lot of the top resellers out there, the amount of time that these people are putting on their on their the channels and that. And it is a it is kind of um, uh, appreciated 110 percent. So I need you guys to like and cl click the like button uh, if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and please, please share. Um, just wanted to emphasise on Nick's channel this the Sunday at his usual time. We have the charity online auction. I will put a link in the. A description for that. I uh, hope everyone's sales are doing well. Thank you for joining me today on a Friday. I will let you all get back to what you're doing. Yeah, and have a great week. Thank you.